shaping my pizza dough. After taking the dough out of the fridge and letting it rest for two hours at room temperature, it's time to shake the dough. First, I lay down some flour so my dough won't stick as I work it. I start to massage the dough so to stretch it and to push the air to the outer crust of the pizza. But now it's really time to stretch the dough. I use gravity so the dough will hang down as I move it around, making sure not to pinch the air out of the ends, keeping my end crust full of air. I continue to massage the pizza, working primarily on the smooth side of the dough. That is the finishing side where I will put all the toppings. Welcome to On The Menu. I continue to stretch my pizza until right before I can see through the dough, it's hard to repair a hole in my dough. Using this double O flour and using these techniques makes for a strong, reliable dough. When I measured my finished product, it came out between 10 and 11 inches, which for me is great for a single meal. Now, I poke the middle of the pizza with a fork so it won't rise too much when I par bake it.